Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, John, from John's Reptile Page. And, guys, um, why is it important to miss your crested gecko's terrarium? It's very important to miss their tank so they can drink water. And, you know, also, it raises the humidity inside the terrarium. Like... Never keep it dry and never, you know, overspray that the substrate is full of water underneath here. You don't want that. That was one of my mistakes. I used to um, spray the tank and then I noticed that underneath was soaked with water. So what I do now, what I really do is just, you know, hit the glass a little bit, you know, hit the back, hit the artificial plants also hit the jungle vine you know wet that up spray the bottom a little bit you know just to give it some um darkness colors like you know let it know that it's wet but not soaked and this when the crested gecko is up and about what he she is going to do and if it's thirsty what it's going to do is going to go climb on the glass and start licking the water off the um glass because I never really see them like you know going up to a wet bowl and just start licking it you see some of them do it but very rare mines don't do it I see them on the glass licking the water or I see them licking um the fake plants as you see my girl here she's out and what is she doing she's drinking water you see her? You know, she was mad thirsty because she wasn't out <clears throat> a few minutes ago. So now, what she's enjoying now is the water and also the humidity that is rising inside the terrarium. She had laid an egg for me. I'm waiting on that. Hatchling and the now she's looking at her eyes, cleaning her eyes. That's what she's doing. Um, what I'm gonna do now is um, sorry, put them too much moving. I'm gonna spray the other tank, and as she's moving around, she's going directly to the water. Look, see, I get a closer view. See. That's what she's doing, enjoying the water. You see that? This is why it's always good. And you know, you don't have to spray it every day. I don't spray it every day. I might miss a day and then, <clears throat> you know, spray every other day, twice a day. I don't, you know, constantly like keep on soaking the terrarium because what I don't want is a lot of water underneath the substrate. That's what I don't want. So this is basically the importance of, you know, spraying the water. Cause look, she's definitely enjoying that water. <laughs> See that? These guys are pretty cool, you know? I like their colors that they fire up in. You know, all crested geckos are all different. None of them are the same. I also, you know, I already sprayed this tank, you know. I already sprayed this one. You see the glass is wet. And you can just notice, let me see if I can open up this tank. The, sorry about that, my bottle took over. Um, the humidity on this tank is high. See that? That's what you want. My other girl is in here, but uh, She's probably don't even want to drink water or eat because she normally would have came out already. She left some poop on the glass there. I got to clean everything up. And uh, um, I made it her and this one here at the same time. But this one only gave me a clutch to 
two of them and um one egg went bad so i have one egg from her and none egg from the one on this tank but yeah guys this is you know basically the importance of spraying the tank keeping them hydrated you know <laughs> taking care of these guys are more like uh, you know pampering them they're not like my bearded that you just put down the food they just go directly to it these guys are more calm they're more laid back as you can see she's still drinking water Look at that. She loves it. Had these guys for like a year and a half. They were so tiny, you know. Now they're fully matured. They're over a year old easily. Um, you know, and I don't pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, sorry, as much as my bearded dragons because, you know, if these guys get a little stressed out, they tend to drop their tail. I already have one that dropped her tail, and I still don't know how she dropped the tail. I never even found the tail, but um, I don't pick them up as much. I don't like to stress them out. Um, they're a little flight, flighty, you know, jumpy. Um, but when I when I do handle them, they they calm down. I had a super Dalmatian. She got away. I don't even know whether she or he, because I had them small, or she. And you know, it's crazy how she got out of the terrarium, and I never found him or her again. And um, I think she just went towards the balcony door and just disappeared. But that's another story. But yeah, guys, you know, always spray the tank. I don't do it every day, like I said, maybe every other day, because I don't want to flood the substrate with water, and it's a pain to get that water out, you know. But um, they enjoy the water. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and slam that notification bell one time. I also sprayed Champ Rocks Terrarium and um, I just use this tank here as an example. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Later.